hello and welcome along and the ride test of this wk mxi 125 if you've not seen the review and walk around video scroll back and look at the other videos of this bike so we're going to go out we're going to give this a ride test and see just how good this wk is so let's start the bike up checking out that display beautiful color display on this very very easy to read even in a bright sunlight so decent set of mirrors again yes mirrors are super wide you'll see that when i sit on the bike now we're going to shoot off two cameras today we're going to shoot off the drift and we're going to shoot off of the gopro uh, starting with front view of the bike you've got those led projector style headlights to the top Indicators mounted just at the side and they are big and wide so you're going to make sure that you get seen when you're out riding the bike And the tires on these are very very good as well Check out the spec all in the review of this on the other video But throwing the leg over now looking down I'm sat on the seat 510 I'm on the main stand but flat footed on this and even off of the main stand i've got a bit of bend in the leg so if you're 510 32 inch leg it's nice and comfortable and the riding position is very very good now from the gopro look i've literally got this much of my shoulder in each mirror so great view of the road behind and you've got this high screen to the front obviously not as wide as you'd expect on a scooter but it's enough to deflect the wind out of the face and emblazoned in the center of the bars you've got the wk logo usb phone holder is it good enough to take a mobile phone well i will show you s23 straight in there it disappears so there is loads of room should you wish to store your mobile phone in there and i'm going to leave mine in there just to see how good it is and i trust the brand new phone in this bike all 1200 pounds worth of it right let's get out and have a ride test now holding it on the back brake look feet up three to three to two mile an hour so let's go and have a ride and have a little bit of a chat about this wk mxi 125 very very stable once you are moving the bike around so visor down checking those mirrors lovely wide view of the road behind now compared to other brands of scooters and i did say the engine on this is very very similar it's a water cooled engine on this one very similar to what you would see on a honda pcx it's exactly the same configuration so let's open it up and it doesn't take long to get this thing up to 45 mile an hour obviously for the purposes of a test mileage now this is a customer's bike he purchased this a few days ago it's had the pre-delivery inspection number plates and l plates all on it filled up with fuel now we put five liters in for the purposes of test riding and five liters just gives me two bars so there is loads and loads of room to get some fuel in this bike and it is very nippy and cold this morning it's horribly cold it's about four degrees today what happened to the sunshine so this is customer jason's bike and he has said i can use his first name but obviously for the purposes of ride test we do not show number plates on our videos and if we do it happens to get blurred out quick shoulder check let's uh, pop it back up to speed now, as you can see it doesn't take long to get it to the 40 to 45 mile an hour for test mileage now servicing on these is slightly different to say for instance a lex moto so 500 miles or three months i have been told is first service interval your next one is two and a half thousand and six months so it's 500 less than what you would get on a Lex Moto. Lex Moto is around about 3,000 service mileage on this. Two and a half thousand and six months, and then yearly every two and a half thousand. So slightly different on the mileage, 
but they're all much of a norm when you start to obviously running them in and getting test mileage on them but as I always say up to the first 500 miles keep the bike 40 to 45 run the engine in and forget all these people who say the engines are pre-running in the factory if they had to do that and they're putting out 100 bikes a day you would not have time to bed in an engine it is down to the customer and the onus is put onto the customer to make sure that they are running the bike at the correct speed but comfort on this the seat is so soft and comfortable and it makes a change normally scooter seats are absolutely hard as nails or so soft that you're sinking into the seat this is pretty darn spot on bar position is very very good no ache on the arms but my arms are slightly lower than obviously my shoulders but the riding position is very very good and just see how quick that runs away with you obviously just trying to keep an eye on the speed while I'm waffling and it does run away with you very very quick there is loads and loads of power on one of these and we did compare obviously the other model the SXI to the Lexmoto Diablo very very similar in shape and style or the Titan and when you start comparing horsepower ratios and top speeds now for instance if I say to you the Lexmoto Titan is 7.2 horsepower and according to their spec it is maximum speed of 50 miles an hour and you compare that to the WKSX which is obviously the equivalent of the Diablo Diablo is just a little bit more horsepower and they reckon that should do 60 but when you compare the WKSX which is 9 horsepower and the top speed of 65 spot on now the MXI obviously water cooled engine a little bit more grunt a little bit more horsepower and then when you compare this to the similar model made by other dealers you will find it's got about one and a half to two horsepower more and 10 to 15 mile an hour more on the top speed and for the price 2599 plus obviously you're on the road fees with your dealer as I said in my other video on the SX you're getting a lot of bang for your buck and believe me this screen now normally if I stick my head up just a little bit have a listen to that wind noise tucked down behind the screen and most of it disappears I've still got a bit of wind noise but obviously I've got an LS2 helmet on and these are very noisy helmets you like to hear the wind noise and my chin buffer is in place I've got a necktie on as well today neck scarf on as well back that speed off Dave back that speed off cool this thing on the hill climb Jesus it's got some power climbing this hill I'm having to hold the bike back on the throttle just for the purposes of running in but it doesn't take long for it to start gaining speed on you and obviously once this is running this thing is going to fly yeah there's a lot of horsepower for a 125 scoot it's got a lot of horsepower to it and climbing this hill now normally we drop about two mile an hour climbing one of these hills I've tried to lock my right hand off as much as I can and keep it around about 42 but I'm getting absolutely no drop in speed whatsoever so that just proves the point it's got lots of guts there to pull it up a hill now obviously I'm only 1210 in weight 12, tons, 12 stone 10 in weight but absolutely spot on perfect this bike is very very good and to actually maintain one of these and the other thing I did like it's obviously very easy to get into check spark plug easy to get into do your oil and the water and the coolant is very easy to top up it's all under that right hand foot panel we do is pull the rubber up little plug under there get in and you can top your coolant up as well so very very easy to maintain service and do all the bits that you need to do so we're five miles in we normally put about 10 miles test mileage on a bike and it feels like I've only done about one mile because it's that comfortable so well done WK yet again another great scoop 
I'm really enjoying these WK bikes. And it's just the build quality. You can tell just from looking at a bike how good the build quality is. The plastics aren't flimsy. It's got some decent plastic to it. It's got some decent tyres on it. You know, none of this uh, nylon-y Chinese stuff that comes out with your cheaper models. And there is absolutely nothing wrong with nylon tyres. If you go back to sort of the 70s and the 80s, most of the British bikes back then had the nylon tyres. Nobody had ever heard of the Michelin Pilots or the Pirelli Angel Corsas or the Diablos. But once again, it's running away with me, this bike. It's just, and I'm literally, it's just the tiniest little bit of throttle here. And there is, believe me, a lot of power there. You can just hear it when I open that throttle up. And it just, it just wants to go. So yeah, a lot of power. I can see once this is running, getting an easy 65, 70 out of this bike, not a problem. Where other sort of one, two, fives with less horsepower will be struggling to get themselves above 50. So well done WK. Let's do the reach score. And if you follow my reviews, I've everybody goes, oh, comfort handling, blah, blah, blah. I call it reach. Rideability. What's it like for rideability? I'm going to bang this out 10 out of 10. The rideability of this bike, I am enjoying every second. And I'm not a scooter lover. I love being on my big touring bikes and my sports bike. But for a scoot, rideability on this, a full 10 out of 10. Economy. Now, I have been told, obviously, on these, most 125s are going to be averaging sort of anything between 80 to 100 to the gallon. When you compare that to your sort of your modern day bikes and your cars that are doing sort of 30s and 40s, you're going to be getting a lot of economy. Check those brakes out, lovely. You're going to be getting a lot of economy out of this bike. Affordability. Well, I can tell you now, at 2599 on this one, it is 200 quid less than some of the equivalent models, which is an absolute blast. So the affordability, they're pushing out a decent bike, or an excellent bike should I say, for really good money. So the affordability, 10 out of 10. So we're on 30 so far. Comfort, <laughs> what can I say, I've been going on about this seat. I am bouncing around like a good one. Comfort on this, apart from it being freezing cold, comfort on it. Yep, sorry guys, but it's going to be a full 10 out of 10. And as for the handling, well, you can't fold it. It's got loads of power. It steers where you want it. The brakes on it are absolutely spot on. And with these tyres, they're lovely. It's grippy. Yes, it is grippy. So handling, once again, full 10 out of 10. I think this is probably one of the first bikes in about the last six months I've bashed on a full 50 out of 50. I can't fault this bike. There is absolutely nothing that I would want to change on this bike apart from, does it have an aftermarket rack? If it had an aftermarket rack, and I'm sure WK have already thought of that idea, so you can put a top box on to hold your bag or your crash helmet or your bits and pieces, that'd be an idea. You can probably hear my phone going off in there. Yes, it's 10 o'clock, it's coffee time. Coffee and cigarette break, back at the garage, so I shall be back there soon. We'll ignore the, uh, the little diddly ding ding going off in the... Uh, but, my phone's doing great in there. It's, it's bouncing around, but it's in a cover. But, I'm not worried about my uh, phone jumping out of that little holder. And 1,300 quid's worth of phone sitting in there not a problem totally trust this bike absolutely love it let's get the visor up for a minute and have a listen not the alarm we're going to listen to <laughs> the sound of the engine so get an ear full of this i'm just going to open it up look at that straight to 30 and it is starting to rain as well oh lovely so made it back just in time so, if you're interested in WK MXI 125, got plenty of these in stock, along with the SXs. 
Give the guys at Eclipse Motorcycles a call. It's on the website, eclipsemotorcyclesmk.co.uk. You didn't see me, did you? No, that's why I hung back. Ah, uh, Audi, what do you expect? So, check the uh, website at eclipsemotorcyclesmk.co.uk. Or you can give the bike sales team a call, 01908 822458, or the main garage number, 01908 643603. Speak to Rebecca on the bike sales team. Tell them you've seen RB's video. <coughs> I'm heading back for a cup of coffee and to warm up. But WK MXI, absolutely love this bike. Great ride today. Love it. So, till the next time, guys, and when we're out riding, be well ride safe and from RB it's a big goodbye from me.